Sunday Dreamland and welcome to Sunday Worship. As we go into a time of worship, please join me as we prepare our hearts with a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for today and for giving us this time to worship and adore you. As we worship together, please meet us in this place and help us to give you our entire focus and it just give you everything at this time. We love you so much. We thank you for everything and we pray in Jesus name and everyone says, Amen. Amen. At this time, as we go into a time of praise, please join me by getting up on your feet and let's worship together.
At this time, let's confess the Apostles' Creed in one voice. Ready? Go. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended to hell, and on the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Here are some announcements for today. March package pickup will be today between 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Please be sure to stop by and pick up your packages. And don't forget to not get out of your car. Stay there and I will bring the package to you. Also, today is the last day for the February memory verse. We will be testing you on them next week. And if you memorize them, don't forget that they add up to talents that you can use for the talent market that will be coming up shortly. And next week is going to be our March Zoom live service. So don't miss out and mark your calendars. It's going to be next week, March 7th at 11 a.m. We hope to see you all there. For now, let's go into the February memory verse. This is the memory verse for February 2021. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 6 through 7. Amen. Happy Sunday, Dreamland. We have been talking with Elijah lately, and I was really looking forward to talking to him even more about his ministry and the way that God had been using him this time. But I have received some startling news. Elijah has disappeared. He's vanished into thin air without a trace. Dun, dun. But I have received a call from someone who says that they were with Elijah in his final hours. So without further ado, Please welcome our mystery guest. Hi, Pastor Emma. First off, let me say I am a huge fan of your show. Oh, well, why, thank you so much. But please solve this mystery for us. Who are you? My name is Elisha, and I am the prophet of God that came after Elijah. Um, what's your name? Elisha. Elijah? No, Elisha. Wow, well, that can be so confusing. So you're Elisha, and you're the prophet that came after Elijah. Did you actually know him? Yes. After God chose me, I walked with and learned from Elisha about what it meant to be a prophet and the work that we would have to do. Oh, I see. So he was like your mentor, your master. Yes, that's right. Well then, it is amazing to meet you, Elisha. But there is something that is on everybody's mind. What happened to Elisha? When was the last time you even saw him? Actually, I was there when it happened. When it happened? What's it? So we were traveling and Elisha kept constantly testing me on this trip. He would say things like God is sending him to another city for him to go and for me to stay. Um, he would say, stay here in Gilgal. God is sending me to Bethel. Or stay here in Bethel. God is sending me to Jericho. But if every time he said that, I would insist on going with him. Oh, man, it really seemed like he was trying to get rid of you. He was testing me to see if I would be a good fit as the next prophet. But each time that he said that, I would refuse to leave him. So we would continue traveling together. And then we got to the Jordan River. Oh man, we know that river. Joshua had to cross it before going to the promised land. 
that river is not shallow at all. How did you cross it? Did you guys have to swim across or did you take a boat? Actually, it was pretty amazing. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up and struck the water with it. Then the river split in two and we crossed over on dry land. Like Moses did with the Red Sea? <gasps> like a banana is on ice cream? Split? And after we had crossed over, Elijah said to me, tell me what I can do for you before I am taken from you. And I said, let me inherit a double portion of your spirit. He said that that was a difficult thing to ask for, but if I were able to see him when he was taken from me, then I would have the very thing that I asked for. But if I didn't, then I wouldn't get it at all. We kept walking and talking and suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated us. Then Elijah was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind. I cried out to him, my father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. But I never saw him again. So that's where Elijah went. He went to heaven in a whirlwind. Yes, just like Enoch, Elijah was taken up to heaven by God. <gasps> Mystery solved. <laughs> However, I did have a question that I wanted to ask you while listening to your story. And... I know we just met, but was it kind of greedy of you to ask for a double portion of Elijah's spirit? That's two times more than he had. I know it might seem that way, but actually it's quite the opposite. It's because I knew that I would not be able to do it. Elijah left some pretty big shoes to fill. He saw miracles in a time where people thought that God no longer worked in miracles. He stood up for God when literally everyone else was against him and it was against God. He even faced 400 Baal worshippers while he was the only one prophet of God. How could I even try to take that place? And that's why I had to ask for a double portion. I needed God's help to do what he called me to do. Oh man, that is so humbling. It's so nice to know that when God calls us to do something, even if we're not ready, we need to obey like you did, but we can still ask him for help. Oh yes, God equips us for his mission. Just ask. And God did just that. I picked up the cloak of Elijah that was left behind and did the same thing that he did at the Jordan River. And I took it and hit it and it split just like it did for Elijah. I like that very much. God equips us, just ask. It reminds me of the Bible verses found in Matthew chapter seven, verse seven to eight. Dreamland, can we read these verses together? Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds and to the one who knocks, the door will be open. When we ask for things that glorify and please God, he will answer it. God equips us. Just ask. Dreamland, let's all say that together. Ready? Go. God equips us. Just ask. Thank you for sharing your story with us and clearing up this mystery. Dreamland, let's remember this truth as we live confidently, knowing that God equips us. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together in one voice. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. In today's Bible story, we talked about how Elijah disappeared, 
by a whirlwind and went to heaven. But there were people that were still looking for him and they would say, where is he? Can you guys find him? So today what we're gonna do for crafts is uh, pull out your packets that have the spot the difference or find the such and such paper. And we are gonna just do these activities where you are going to spot the differences or find each of the things that the paper is asking for. If you didn't pick up your package this month, um, that's okay. I'll put it on the screen. You can pause it and take that time to search for it. I hope you have fun. Good luck. <laughs> 